Sagis, peace, love, and light, guys. Welcome back to K Drop and Jebs. This is Hadia K. Um, there's definitely some many changes. I want to give a shout out to all my new returning subscribers. I love you guys so, so much. I appreciate all the loves, the likes, the shares, the subscribes. Turn on those notifications, guys. All right. I do have my money oils, my love oils as well that are still available. I have personal readings that are open and available. You guys can email me and that information will be in the description box below. All right. So, Saggies, what's going on for May 2019? Collectively, sun, moon, rising for my Saggies. May 2019, collectively. All right, so Saggies, I definitely feel like I got like a quick pace. So I definitely feel like there's a get up and go or there's a lot of fast movement. You guys are mo uh, moving a lot. This can also be wanting to move or this can definitely be relocation. This is also uh, changes that are happening to either... Um, like my definite changes to mind, body, and soul transformation, spiritual transformations. You guys can definitely be seeing reoccurring numbers, um, 333, 444, consecutive numbers as well. That's allowing you or you're feeling like you're in the right place at the right time or you're doing what you need to do. Okay, be mindful of people that are um, coming up as friends, but they're really foes or just people that are wanting to see you. Uh, they're not wanting to see you keep going with your momentum here, Sagittarius. So just be grounded, stay focused, put your pedal to the metal, and realize that during the month of May, this is like you guys are going to be definitely um, being tested. There's people that are, are, are like major... They're not wanting to see you do what you want, wanting to see you shine here, okay? So I definitely feel like uh, just be mindful of the people that are coming to you, wanting 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 what you can service your products whether this is fitness health um spirituality whatever the case is uh, just be mindful of it i do feel like uh you guys are going through major awakenings or major breakthroughs here definitely breaking i'm just getting breaking cycles breaking things that you know that you're supposed to do. Um, answering the calling is also what I'm hearing for some of you as well. Any worries or stresses that you may have had about finances or about things, there's definitely going to clear up because I'm getting like a mental shift or a clarity, or understanding of like your purpose of where you're going. And it's just like one minute you may have felt like you don't know which way to go. The next minute it's like, okay, I know what to do. You woke, you're you waking up uh, more bright or more well-rounded, content. I'm also getting peaceful as well in the in the month of may so i definitely feel like there's a major uh there's major things that are going on that's going to allow you to see that you're going you're doing what you need to sagittarius um just m making plans here speaking things words prayer is going to be important music meditation as well consistency okay and just being aware of your self-talk here, okay? Not allowing others, naysayers to, like, see, you worked hard for what you for what you do, ABC, point blank period. You know where you're going. People have lived their lives already, is what I'm hearing. So don't let other people project their fears. You know where you're going, okay? All right, let's see what's going on, Saggies. Career and finances, career and finances, second and fifth house for the month of May 2019. Saggies, let's see what's going on. Whoa, okay. <clears throat> All right. Okay. So, the bottom of the deck, I have temperance reverse. I feel like you guys can be trying to figure out this is balance, right? So, I feel like you guys are trying to find your balance. You guys are definitely trying to get acclimated when it comes to what you're trying to do in life with your career and finances. I definitely feel like there's actions or there's things that you... There's, okay. The three of them talks about blessings and opportunities, right? So I feel like you guys realize that there's blessings and opportunities somewhere, okay? You might be also realizing, like I said, balance, balancing your emotions, balancing or trying to find your footing when it comes to your career or your or your purpose here. The King of Wands reverse talks about someone that 
knows that there needs to be actions put into something here so that they could get these blessings. So I definitely feel like you guys might be feeling... You guys might be strategizing is what I'm hearing. Trying to figure out how to get your footing somewhere so that you guys can receive these blessings or receive these opportunities here. And like I said, before any of those worries or stresses about your finances or about things um, that might be feeling making you feel unbalanced or like you don't have it all or that you are not good enough, change those words around here because that's also self-negative chatter. That's also your ego because I definitely feel like there's new energy around. For a lot of you, there's blessings, there's opportunities that are around that you guys are taking or you guys are taking a new approach here to your life, to your lifestyle, to where you're going. And that can definitely cause some type of, that, that can definitely cause like worry here because you don't know where you're going into because it's the unknown, right? But I also feel like there's blessings where you're going, okay, Sag? So don't, don't think about like the past or the lack of where what have went wrong or don't think about people that are may have may come up against you or may try and like pull you down or say things to to pull you down don't let that stop you okay because there's blessings at this end of this journey at the end of this tunnel at where you're going here okay so like I said, there's a lot of, there's family, emo, there's family situations that are having you feel unsatisfied or having you feeling like um, emotionally unhappy here, okay? I definitely feel like you do know that, there, that you can manifest what you need to. And the Ten of Swords talks about endings and new beginnings. So if this is um, uh, you walking away from a job or this is uh, you getting fired or a loss of a job, I definitely feel like this is uh, awakening or divine timing. The Magician talks about you're being able to manifest what you need to after realizing or having some type of breakthrough or revelation about um, your life path, your purpose. I'm also getting 11-11 here. So I definitely feel like there's a, there's a means or there's an the energy of starting over starting fresh starting a new slate here the magician also talks about communication so you guys can definitely be in, into communications working with families children or animals or health okay as your career i definitely feel like you guys have all the tools that you need to around you in order to manifest the um, financial stability that you need to. Okay, positive affirmations. I can, I am, I will, I am, I am abundant, I am successful. Okay, the Ten of Swords talks about, like I said, letting go of harsh beliefs or harsh um, thought processes when it comes to finances, as well as cycles that are ending. So, like I kept saying, like an end of a. Uh, a end of a way of doing things, a loss of a job, or someone getting let go, or you walking away, and it causes you to be emotionally secure or emotionally stable here. And some type of you, someone has made great the pros and cons. This is Libra, gen, Libra energy. So I definitely feel like after there's like awakenings that are happening either after after some type of ending of a job, ending of a career, it's like you're going into you're and going into what you're supposed to, you're manifesting the life that you want to, or you're creating what you need to after realizing that you can have it here. And being emotionally stable as well. You're weighing the pros and cons and weighing, uh, making decisions that are going to be beneficial for you. The Nine of Pentacles, allowing you to be more stable, secure, okay? Financially secure is also what I'm hearing. This is like a lot of pentacles, so windfalls of money, financial abundance here. Definitely, you guys have your own business. This is definitely solidifying your business. Okay, like lots of clientele, new things that are happening, connections, networking, but definitely you're creating the life that you want to. You're also being very creative when it comes to your abundance or when it comes to your wealth, building your wealth as well. <clears throat> Creation and happiness is also what I'm hearing. So you guys are making decisions that are making you happy, making you feel fulfilled. So continue to stay in your heart space. Don't allow other people's fears to stop you, okay, Sag? All right, so let's see what's going on with you and your boo. Those of you that are dealing with fire signs, Sag with fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, fire signs, you and your boo, what's going on here? Spirit, talk to me. Fire signs, you and your boo, and love, all right? See what's going on here, fire signs. Okay. So, all right, let's get a little bit nosy. So, Sagittarius that are dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, I have the nine of wands reversed here. So, I definitely feel like there's passion or there's things that are, I'm getting things that are not being said or passion that is, doesn't, that is not being expressed here. This can also be sexual frustration or someone is holding back. <clears throat> 
how they feel because I have to clear my throat communication. So I feel like someone's the holding back how they feel or not expressing how they feel here. I feel like the truth has came out about a situation and I had someone um, going within or trying to go within Virgo energy looking within in the situation here reflecting on what they should do because the ace comes up twice here. So I feel like someone is realizing I get, I'm getting 11-11 divine counterpart or divine um timing here something wasn't something a relationship isn't manifesting as fast as someone wants to or someone isn't communicating there might be cut off of communication here due to a lack of finances or someone walked away due to a fi uh, finances or like self-esteem okay um as well as also what i'm hearing i feel like there's also there was also no peace or someone was feeling emotionally um unstable someone's also in and out okay of a situation but because the one and one, the one is a, a, a fresh start. So I feel like someone's tried to start fresh with this person twice or maybe something tried to start over more than once here. But it's like something isn't working here due to someone's finances or due to someone's foundation or due to someone not speaking out on how they feel or communicating. Like I feel like someone's suppressing their emotions or not speaking out. All right. Either you or someone else here. All right. So, Saggies that are dealing with, what is that? Okay. Saggies that are dealing with earth signs, earth signs collectively for love, you and your boo. Saggies who are dealing with earth signs, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus for love, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus for love, spirit talk to me. Saddies that are dealing with Earth signs, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus for love. What information do you have at this time? Okay. All right. Let's see what's going on. Well, damn. <laughs> okay. Let's see what's going on, guys. All right. So if you guys are dealing with an Earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, definitely there is... A uh, twin flame or soulmate relationship, you guys are feeling con um, connected, or there's a there's a there's a relationship or connection here that makes you guys feel unbalanced, um, or makes you makes you guys someone is feeling unbalanced because the temperance card Sag. So I feel like you guys are feeling unbalanced, or like something is is off in a relationship here. I do feel like the hair font is Taurus energy, so a tourist can de a tourist can be feeling like very controlling or very forthright or wanting to do things traditionally here and i feel like sad you guys are not traditional as well at all so i feel like you guys might be walking away from a situation not wanting to put action into a situation because a family situation didn't work out or manifest the way that you need to but i do feel like there's a need for you guys to heal from a situation with the earth sign capricorn virgo taurus um just because i feel like just because something didn't work out with the earth sign there's a need for you guys to rest or heal because there's new energy around i'm definitely i'm definitely feeling like the lovers is like a relationship or someone that you may have not seen or may have may not have really put your eye out on like it's waiting for you in the background here okay so i feel like you guys are having to heal from this relationship that hasn't worked out in order for this one to start and blossom here okay Sag that are dealing with water signs, okay? Sag that are dealing with water signs, May 2019. Sagittarius that are dealing with water signs, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, collectively. All right. Let's see what's going on. Sagittarius that are dealing with water signs, collectively, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, May 2019. What's going on? Saddies that are dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. All right. Five of Pentacles, a verse. Money. Money, honey, right? All right. So I definitely feel like, Saggies, you guys are coming into uh, money or there's a new job, a new way of doing things that you guys are being um, very abundant or like a, it's just wealth. Like I'm just getting money that's coming to you guys. OK, you guys are giving or you guys are not being very cutthroat or controlling in a situation. 
I definitely feel like rest is needed in a situation dealing with a Scorpio Cancer Pisces or you guys are needing to rest instead of like um if this if someone's trying to give because the four star talks about rest so I feel like if someone is over giving here because I'm not, I'm not just saying over giving, but I just feel like there's just a need for like rest to like get your energy back or to regain your clarity, regain understanding, and just to get your energy back. Like it's just what I'm hearing as well. Just rest, all right? Because I feel like there's new energy that's around you, but I feel like there might be some type of worries or there might be some type of um like anxiety when it comes to this new energy here because i feel like someone has to let go of the past the six of cups is definitely some type of some type of emotional belief or some type of emotional relationship this can just be your inner child like knowing that you have to let go of the past either you or someone else or both of you in order for this new energy to blossom within you guys' relationship because the two of pentacles talks about someone that is understanding understanding about Understanding letting go of something from the childhood or some type of pattern that's repetitive that has to do with juggling or has to do with having um, two partners or multiple people here, okay? The Cheerio talks about cancer, so definitely um, this can also be taking control of your life or someone's choosing to take control of their life and not juggle. For some of you, some of you guys can just be choosing to take control of your life and move forward and be single. This can definitely be a message from a cancer, okay? That like that's saying that they're wanting to uh move forward because you see the horses here black and white divine feminine divine masculine so i definitely feel like there's a message coming through phone call this can be a letter this can be any this this can be a letter a phone call a visit like a pop-up but i definitely feel like sag if you're dealing with a water sign scorpio cancer pisces there's new energy around there's childhood behavior patterns thoughts emotions that are having to let go i definitely feel like there's a choice that needs to be made or someone is choosing either you or someone else someone is choosing okay to move forward or in, and to have this communication or to really tell the truth about something or someone's rushing in with some type of communication about having to let go of something from the past or some type of past belief pattern either you or you guys are having this heartfelt conversation or this is you um saying this to someone or someone coming to you for a lot of you sag i definitely feel like scorpio cancer pisces is coming to you here about a relationship about um about a divine a divine feminine divine masculine relationship here after you or some of you guys having to let go i feel like a lot of you guys are going through a, a healing period of letting go of things from the child from your inner child from your childhood past wounds or past hood um past past childhood trauma excuse me or just childhood wounds okay so i definitely feel like there's a there's a major healing when it comes that's taking place in this union here So yes, Sag, if you guys are dealing with a water sign, major healing, um, money, money is definitely going to be major windfalls of money, Sag, you guys are letting go of things, and you just expect a message, expect some type of um, clarity, understanding, okay? Those of you that are dealing with an air sign... Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Those of you that are dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Sag. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay. Four of Wands reverse the bottom of the deck. I definitely feel like there's a relationship that's not working out. Sag, or you guys are seeing that there's an imbalance and um p passion i got finances foundation here or balance and give and take of energy as well i definitely feel like someone's making a logical decision here to move forward i feel like someone is um someone's definitely moving forward choosing to make a right choice here and let go of the past or let go of things from the past here they've let go of control issues they're not trying to argue. Someone's definitely not trying to argue. They're waiting on something to come forth, waiting on a new opportunity in love, a new a new lover. Exactly. 
But I do feel like someone is definitely returning to a situation, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or there's someone that's returning, either from the past. So I feel like, Sag, if you're dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, someone's making a decision to move to move forward and not think of the not think of the past, but think of the future, think positive. Okay, and I feel like there's a waiting period where someone you might be waiting on an opportunity with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or someone, or you're. Or vice versa, okay? So someone's definitely waiting on something. And I definitely feel like it's coming to fruition because they're coming back, okay? Or someone's coming back. If you've been thinking if someone was going to return or why you haven't heard from someone or what's wrong with the communication. I feel like someone was probably going to cut you off or you were probably going to cut someone off. But they returned to you or someone returned to them. Or vice versa. Either you return to someone or someone return to you here. Okay? Because I feel like someone was just waiting on something to blow over. Or someone was waiting on something in order for them to speak to you here. Okay? Or for you to speak to them. So that's all the messages that I have for you guys, Sagis. If you guys are interested in my one-on-one -on -one, um, readings, all the information will be in the description box below. Peace, love, and light. I say, guys. I love you like I love myself.